Howdy friends, strangers on the internet, 63 degrees, and we're at the fourplex I handle. Grass isn't growing anything crazy, we need rain pretty bad. We got a little this morning, but eh, not much. Definitely not my prettiest property, but uh, 50 for 25 minutes never hurts. Alright, we're just leaving a property down that way. And then we pop out over there and we come back. I'm gonna do those and those. As you can tell, looks a lot nicer. You can actually get through there. The leaves were maybe two feet from the ground in some areas. I still have to come back and trim these up, but uh, it's gonna have to be a different day when I'm not out mowing. Thought I had a bigger tarp, but that's okay, we'll make it work. All right, I ran the weed eater around while I was waiting for my phone to charge a bit so I could get a picture. We brought all the branches. As you can see, six feet to seven feet off the ground. Obviously this one is only about five feet off the ground, but that's a main branch, can't do anything about that. But now you can get under it and through. This one I kept just because the main branch is low. I didn't know if I should cut off this one right here just because it's kind of to the ground, but we'll leave it for now. And so it's plenty of canopy. And then this is the second tarp load of branches. I don't know if you can see it back in there, but that's one brush pile I have. And then there's just an empty wooded lot next to their house. And I think their neighbor owns most of it. I think they own these trees for sure, but they have permission to dump in here. So there's a bunch of brush all the way throughout here. All the pine needles from spring are up there breaking down. I have a giant brush pile right here, but this stuff's been in here for a few years now, so it's all just, you can just break it so easily. And man, we got some other branches right there and the rest of them are right here. So this is that property that one of my clients wants to sell us and I don't hate it. I don't know if I can afford the price, but definitely don't hate it. This area, clean it up. This is where I park my enclosed trailer and then you know, back here area is just kind of like a transfer station for stuff. And then this all needs to be cleaned up. There's pavers down there. And then the railing can maybe stay with a little bit of love. Get rid of that. They're talking about having a new deck built. I would tell them to hold off and I would just take that down and lock that door. And then when I have a new deck built, I want to dig down a little bit. And that way you like take three steps down and then it's kind of like at my mom's house where you have like a whole chill area underneath your deck with like couches and a TV and stuff screened in. And then I'm assuming a quarter of the backyard all the way back there could be business yard. And then the rest of it, <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of it here. The rest of it could just be for family and kids and stuff do business and then do a dog run where it like makes an L shape up the business line and go across the back pine trees so they can have the whole thing and then uh, probably cut all these out but maybe not I don't know they are kind of nice for blocking the porch and I trimmed them up last year perfectly these are all brand new shoots giving them coverage <laughs> 